Hi everyone, it's Dr. Randy again uh, from Meditours Hungary and today I'm here with another Q&A segment in which you ask and I answer. You know, having a breast enlargement or an augmentation procedure is one of the most popular types of plastic surgery today. There are several reasons that women will choose to have a breast augmentation surgery. Some of the reasons can be psychological to boost confidence. Some may be due to the natural effects of aging. Some are due to the changes that follow childbearing. And some are due to other aesthetic reasons such as asymmetry. But whatever the reason, having or not having a breast augmentation surgery is a very personal decision that only you, the patient, can make. Now there's an abundance of information that's available on the internet today regarding breast augmentation surgery. So I definitely recommend uh, that you do your own research before you make any decisions. Now in today's video, we're gonna turn uh, the focus on to one question that frequently comes up, which doesn't seem to be exactly that clear. That is, what type of implant do I choose? This can get a bit technical, so I'm just going to review uh, some of the basic points that you should take into the consultation with you and ask your surgeon. The first is the fill. Should it be saline or silicone? The second is the shape, round or anatomical. The third is the projection, can be low, medium or high. And the fourth is texture, should it be smooth or textured surface. And finally, the brand quality. So let's start first with the filling material. Should your implant be saline or silicone? Saline implants are exactly what they are. They're saline solution filled into a tough outer silicone shell. Visually, you can kind of picture it as a thick plastic bag filled with water. The empty bag is inserted first into the chest and then the water is filled into the implant. The scarring is minimal due to the fact that the empty bag is inserted first and then filled with water inside the breast. If there's any slight asymmetry between the right and the left breasts, then this also may be corrected with very minor adjustments to the volume filling. And finally, if there's any leakage in the implant, this is immediately detectable as the water will just flow right out into your body and this can be managed or replaced immediately. The second type of material, on the other hand, is silicone. This is the more popular type of implant nowadays. Uh, silicone material is a thick, jelly-like material. It's uh, inside uh, of the outer shell that we were talking about. The difference is that this jelly won't leak out of the implant in, in case this outer shell or the bag breaks. Now, in the early days of silicone jelly implants, the jelly was more of a syrup, actually, uh, than a jelly. But nowadays, uh, with the new technology, the syrup is really a jelly-like, sticky material that just won't ooze out even if the outer shell breaks. Now, this is what we commonly refer to as the cohesive silicone gel or the gummy bear implants. And this is what most surgeons are recommending today and what most women are choosing. Uh, aesthetically, they look very natural, they're smooth, and there's less chance of any complication developing, and the lifespan of the implants is much longer. The next thing is shape. Uh, there are two basic types of implants with regards to the overall shape. The round shape and the anatomical or teardrop shaped implants. Round shaped implants are exactly what they are. They're round in shape, meaning that there is a more equal distribution of this jelly-like material throughout the entire implant, which can fill up both the upper and the lower poles of the breast. Now with anatomical or teardrop shaped implants, the jelly is more located toward the bottom pole or lower pole than the upper pole of the implant. And this shape then gives it its teardrop shaped appearance that will hold its position for a permanent period of time. Which implant is better, round or teardrop shaped implants? Well, it's not quite clear what's better. This is something that you need to discuss with your surgeon at the consultation. The third thing is the projection. Uh, the silicone gummy bear implants are actually able to hold their shape. 
the actual forward projection and the volume of the implant can be contoured for your individual needs as well, which could be bigger size, more forward projection, and more or less cleavage. There's low, moderate, and high profiles, which simply refer to how much forward projection you desire and what part of your breasts that you would like to emphasize more, the lower, the middle, or the upper parts. Now this, again, also needs to be discussed with your doctor to determine what's the best fit for your body and your chest size along with your desires. Okay, texture. Generally speaking, we are talking about the outer silicone shell surface, uh, which can be made to be either very smooth surface or a textured surface. The smooth surface implants are softer and thus give a softer feel to the breasts. Because of this, the implants can be inserted through a slightly smaller incision hole, as well as leaving slightly smaller scar lines. On the other hand, the textured implants um, are a bit harder and they give a harder or a stiffer feel to the touch. The insertion also needs to be inserted into a slightly larger incision which leaves a slightly, slightly larger scar line. They're made mostly with anatomical or teardrop shaped implants. The textured surface actually holds the position of the implant a bit better into the chest wall and thus reduces any chance that the implant may flip in its place. The textured surface gives a better gripping hold to the implant in the body. Now, while both surfaces are associated with very low risks of the main complication of breast augmentation surgery, which is capsular contraction, um, it has been found that the textured surface greatly reduces the chance of any type of capsular contraction from developing. And now the last thing is the brand. There are several different manufacturers in the world and for the most part, they all make good implants. Uh, each brand has several different types of shapes, uh, sizes, projections, and textures. Internationally recognized brands have either the FDA or Food and Drug Administration certification from the USA or the CE mark uh, from the European Union. Uh, both markings essentially mean uh, the same and uh, represent the mark of the highest quality tested products that are safe to sell on the open market. So in closing, the decision to have a breast augmentation surgery is a very personal one. Not only is it important uh, to choose the right surgeon, but in choosing that surgeon, I hope that you've understood a little better uh, some of the basics of choosing the right implant as well. So thanks for being here, everybody. I hope uh, you found this video helpful. Um, and um, if you're hearing about this for the first time and you're interested in breast augmentation surgery, uh, make sure that you download our free ebook, uh, Five Things You Should Know About Breast Implants Before Your Consultation. Uh, I will leave a link in the description below. Um, if you want more information about breast augment, uh, augmentation surgery, uh, please visit our website www.meditourshungary.com or co.uk. Register yourself for a free online consultation or contact us directly via the site. That's it for me, Dr. Randy. And if you did like this video, please give me a like, leave a comment, ask a question, and of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Press the notifications button so you get updated as each new Q&A video goes up. It lets me know that you want to see more type of content content like this. Bye for now.